Good morning, guys. I am in Bront, Texas at the county park. And this is where I stay when I come to my off-grid cabin when it's hot and I need air conditioning. Um, and it was 90 degrees here yesterday. So I did see the guineas. There's a bunch of wild guineas that run around in this park this morning. Um, I was too busy washing the, the cab of my camper. I washed it the other day when I was in Graham. Got my oil changed. Found a place where they had a garage so the camper would fit. And also they had a wash bay and the camper fit in that. I just couldn't reach it. So I bought me one of those real long RV um, brushes. So I have just finished that little piece up there today. And um, so I was doing that and all the guineas came out. But boy, they were talking to Sammy. I'm going to my off-grid cabin. Gonna drop off some things, pick up some things, and pick up my, stop by the post office and pick up my mail. And um, then I'll be back on the road. It is just 10.30 and it is already hot. It says 75 degrees, but it's, I guess it's the humidity. <laughs> um, but I spent about an hour here getting rid of some stuff at my off-grid cabin and picking up a few things. One thing that I was also looking at while I was here is you know, this is off-grid, meaning I turned off the electricity years ago. And I really need to get an electrician and have the uh, electrical box replaced, all the breakers replaced, and also put in an RV a 30 amp and a 50 amp uh, plug. So... If I need to stay here during the summer, I will have electricity. And so I'm going to be looking for an electrician to help me do that and get that started. Um, it probably won't happen until somewhere out where in the fall because it's just too hot right now. But gonna change that this year. I'm gonna get, due to all the pandemic, uh, and needing a place to sit for a little while, I could sit here and look at my lake. But for now, I'm gonna go somewhere where it's cooler. So I'm gonna do a little tour of the town that I live in. I don't live here, but you know, I guess that my there's a post office there is a volunteer fire department and I'll just show you let me turn you around I'll show you the town as I drive through drive through means drive through two by two buildings okay I have no idea what these buildings were back in the day I should someday do some exploring around here and find out but I'm gonna do a U-turn here in a minute. And that would be the volunteer fire department. And there's this building here. And there is a Moonshines. That would be a liquor store pretty nice liquor store a barbecue place this grocery I don't know that's open anymore oh yeah no it says closed and a hardware store they have a couple of churches down there on the right the post office is right there this is a uh, blue agave it's a restaurant and bar I haven't been I am on their Facebook page so they are active and up here on 
the left is a is the school but other than that that's the town <laughs> it is where I live no I don't live here but I decided I'm not gonna go back to the county park I am headed to my next destination gonna get there a day early which is cool but there's a school that's it cemetery up here on the right but I think we went there once for geocache shower nozzle. The shower nozzle fell and it broke that valve. I'm going to be doing some boondocking so I need to be sure that I conserve water. So let's go in here and see if I can find what I'm looking for. They've expanded. They have expanded. Oh, look, there's a Lance truck camper. All right, let's see. I'm going to go down here. They're expanding and they're rebuilding. Or not rebuilding, they built a new building. All right, I'm going to just pull off right here. 